Hey guys, it's Nick from F150LA.com. Today we've got our 21 Ford Bronco here in the shop. and we're showing you how to install our Raptor Grill Light Kit. Now you can choose between three, four, or five light configurations. They're very versatile, so they're gonna work across the product line. And you can choose between this extreme amber or a white color. It's a great addition to the truck. It really gives that aggressive look, matches that uh, Bronco Raptor look, and it's very easy to install. And we're gonna show you how it's done right now. Before we jump into it, please take a quick second to hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps other Ford owners just like you find our content. Thanks, we really appreciate your support. All right, so to start our install, let's go ahead and open the hood. And then the first thing that we're gonna to need to do is remove this plastic valence here that covers the top. There's nine of these compression push-in tabs. You can just use a flathead screwdriver or a similar pry tool to move these guys up. So just under, just kind of like a open slot. So you can insert your pry tool or a flathead screwdriver just like that, a bit of pull up on the tab, and then just pry the compression tab up like that. So we'll go ahead and remove all nine of these. With all nine of those pop tabs removed, you'll be able to lift directly up here on this valence cover. Remove it from the Bronco. Put that back on in just a second. So that's gonna give us access here uh, into the grill so that we can run our lights behind the grill here and we're gonna run them to the position that we want them to go. So let's grab our first light. Making sure that we've got our auto grade adhesive mounted to the edge of this uh, light. We're gonna run our light through the grill here. And we're gonna be using this center spot and then these two flanking spots. But with this kit, you can really choose wherever uh, you want the light to be. You're not limited by a fixed bracket or something like that. Okay, it's a little tricky to get them out, but not too bad, so just like that. So there's our center light. So we're gonna be mounting it there, but for now, we'll just let it hang there. And then we'll grab our other two lights and repeat the same process. So if this is our center, we're gonna be mounting this light here. So get it inside. There we go. Now if your fingers are, you know, having a hard time getting in there, you can always use some uh, either those pliers or something like that. Let's see, we might have to use them on this third light to get over here. Maybe not. Let's find out. there there we go all right so now we've got our lights run in and now we can go ahead and use this auto grade adhesive to mount them and we're just going to mount them directly to the top uh, portion of this grill and one important step is you want to make sure that you use the alcohol promotion wipes so that you ensure that your surface area is clean and that you're going to get a strong uh, adhesion we already cleaned it right before this video so we're good to go Line it up right in the center of the hole, like that. And then just apply pressure directly up for about 15 seconds. And then we're gonna repeat the same step for these other three lights. And then we can move on to powering the lights themselves. With our valence back on, now we'll be able to connect our lights from the grill to our harness. So using our IP68 connectors, just make sure you push in fully until you hear it click into place. Each light. So, last one. Okay, so now what we can do is we're gonna connect our harness side here to the Bronco itself. Now this Bronco is equipped with the auxiliary switches. So we're gonna be connecting to those here. We're gonna be using the aux switch, which on this Bronco is yellow with an orange tracer wire. Okay, now if your Bronco doesn't have the aux switch wires, we're gonna be kind of be following the same process, except you'll be, you would tie in uh, just to your front marker light. But we're gonna be using aux switch here. So we're gonna be installing our ground here, but first we're gonna be using our easy quick splice connector. And while, what you do is basically you're gonna run uh, your wire here, your aux switch wire into this channel opening. 
And then we're going to take our red wire from our harness. We're going to run it right into the other open channel. And then we're just going to apply firm pressure down on this quick splice tab, this metal top here. I'm trying to do it so you can see it on the video. And just take some pliers and you're just going to apply firm pressure down on the metal tab. It's basically going to connect these two wires. Create a circuit like so. And then you can fold over this tab like so, lock it into place. Now we can take a size 8 socket and we're going to remove this bolt briefly so we can install our terminal ring over it. Take our terminal ring, put the bolt back through it. direction. Once we get this guy tightened back in place, we can use the included zip ties in the kit to um, clean up our harness and make it look neat and tidy and make sure it's not going to interfere with any of the functionality here in the engine bay. And that is going to be it. So that's all there is to installing a Raptor grill light kit here on a 2021 and up Ford Bronco. It's a great look. The camera can't capture how bright these things are and how good they look on the Bronco, but we guarantee you're going to love them. They're a great upgrade. You can check them out at f150leds.com where you'll find all of our custom LED lighting products built specifically for your Ford Bronco, as well as our F-150 and Super Duty family. We can't wait to serve you and see you at f150leds.com. Thanks guys.